What is up? So this is Jay, and today I wanted to just talk to y'all about Sparking Zero. Man, we we've, we've fallen quite a long ways, bro. We came from one of the greatest game releases to just I don't know. It's kind of disappointing, bro. It's, it's very it's a very sad fall, because in my opinion, Sparking Zero had the potential to be one of the greatest games, bro in the entire anime community. I wanna say specifically the anime community, not in the fighter scene. It never was meant for that. And I said that themselves, but it had potential. And of course it was ruined by the toxic community. And I stand by that. Look at the health of Xenoverse 2. Any any game they drop, bro, there's always, <laughs> it's, and this isn't any community, there's always people who just have to ruin the experience for everybody. If it's not them, it's the people who, who gatekeep and try to control who people use. And yes, y'all are toxic. You can't tell somebody not to use UI Goku or Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Even if I agree with you, it's toxic, bro. Like, y'all are those people. Y'all are those people who used to come to your house. I know Y'all know who I'm talking about. And y'all playing some, let's just say y'all was playing uh, UFC. And this is early 2010s. You choose... What Anderson Silva or John Jones, and they hit you with the oh you're one of those you don't know the game you're using overpowered characters. That's y'all now, man. That is y'all, y'all the toxic friend who come over to complain but say they can beat you. That is y'all. Y'all gotta age up, bro. That's crazy. Y'all gotta let people use who they wanna use. Y'all do that. Nobody told y'all to use some trash characters. Y'all doing that for your own pleasure. Let them do what they wanna do. Just get better. <laughs> That's what they hit you with. Just get better. It's a skill issue. Ain't that what they say? Nah, for real though, man. I'm not mad at people who use UI Goku anymore or Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Because at the end of the day, if I beat you, it feels even better. Because 9 out of 10, you're going to rage quit. That's Insta content, baby. What? Y'all know how many videos going crazy? That's cracked because people are rage quitting? What? That's a gold mine. If you're not recording gameplay for Sparking Zero, you're a fool. As Goku would say, you fool! You are a fool, man. Definitely they're rage quitting. If you making people rage quit, bro, why are you not making content? You're toxic. You're toxic for not making content. <laughs> You're toxic. <laughs> Anyways, bro. Look. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of hate in Spark and Zero about super counters, e vanishes, and just counters in general. My advice is just make super counters cost some kind of resources and everybody be happy. I don't need y'all lowering the frames. Now, the only one I do agree with with changing is the Z vanishes, because that is one thing I did love. Because in BT3, boy, the more of Z vanishes it went, the quicker that shit got, man. It was like at one point you had to be like the Flash, bro. You had to be on some strong shit, you know what I'm saying, to, to get that timing down. It, but, but it felt good. Now, that is one thing I do agree with. But I don't want the foundation of Spark and Zero to be changed too much because then it's, it's going to be an oh, entirely different game. We don't need that, right? Right? There's somebody who said no, and I need you to comment why. I, I heard that. It was a silent one, though. It was a silent one. It, like, it was like, no, dog. We don't need that. I heard you. I heard you. Yeah, I heard you. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think about Spark and Zero. Are y'all still enjoying it? Is there any offline players? What do y'all do for fun? Because most of the custom battles are rule 34 out the ass like why are y'all like this i mean i know i'm a i know i'm not an innocent guy yeah y'all y'all don't know i'm very uh, i'm a very freaky man okay but dude when i got my hands on the story creator i was thinking about making like a what a broly story i know i'm obsessed with broly and i'm not meaning in no weird way but i just love that movie <laughs> y'all hate it i love it i said that i said that in one of my other videos but it's like bro I'm over here thinking about what ifs I could do. Y'all was thinking about having sex in there, bro. What? Kefla walking off Gogeta over here. Oh, he out the wazoo. Horny, bro. What? How did y'all are creative? Like, bro. And I guarantee whoever made that didn't have a uh, have a channel. What are you doing, bro? You're uh, you're clearly creative to come up with this. You went through hours scanning through that long ass list, man. And that's what you did. Commitment, man. People with commitment. Y'all need channels. Anybody, any, my advice to anybody 
It's, you need channels, bro. You need channels. We need more competition out here. I hate competition, but we need more of it. With that being said, though, I hope y'all enjoyed, man. This is just me ranting, me talking. A, a sit with Swift. Ooh! <laughs> a sit with Swift. I like it. Sit with Swift, baby. Let's talk it out. Hit the like button. Comment. Please comment, man. Did I say something you didn't like? Please tell me. Y'all hate when I record at home because I have a, a fire alarm? Please? Please. I love the black jokes. Please tell me. With that being said, though, I hope y'all enjoyed, man. I really do. And I've been losing subscribers, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm the reverse. I'm the reverse slash right now, bro. I'm losing subscribers like it's the coolest thing in town, and I'm all for it. I'm losing subscribers before Mr. Beast do. What? Man, that man's out here going crazy, and I'm the one? Hey. Whatever works, though, man. I enjoy y'all, though. The void is worth. And, uh, yeah, though, I'm out of here. Peace.